So let's say you've got a performance on saxophone coming up. You've been practicing what you're gonna play for weeks. It's a song that you know back to front and perhaps you can even play it by memory. Finally, the day arrives for you to take the stage and just as you're walking up to the spotlight, you get hit with a sudden burst of nerves. The blood drains from your face, your chest gets tight and your palms get sweaty. You start the song, but it doesn't go anything like what you practiced. Your tone suddenly goes thin and nasal. You begin to squeak where you've never squeaked before. You stumble through the remainder of the piece, but it doesn't matter. The performance went nothing like you planned and your confidence just took a huge hit. What I just described is a nightmare scenario for any saxophone player. But what actually went wrong here? And how do we ensure that it doesn't happen again? In this video, you're gonna find out. But before we get into it, if you're a beginner on the saxophone, check out the Sax Tuition Beginner Series. You can watch lesson one right here on YouTube, link below, or if you wanna find out more about the course that will teach you every note on saxophone, how to get a great tone, and how to read sheet music like a pro, head on over to saxtuition.com or use the link in the description down below. So, let's get into it. The cruel thing about nerves when it comes to playing the saxophone is that they affect the parts of the body that are most crucial to our sound production. Nerves equal tension, tight embouchures that stifle the reed, leading to squeaks and a thin tone, shoulders that creep up, compressing our chest cavity and making it impossible to take a deep breath of air, and stiffness in our arms and our hands, making playing challenging passages on the saxophone so much harder. If I'm about to perform for an audience and there's any chance that I might experience some performance nerves, there's a couple of things I'll do right away. The first is to adopt a slightly more aggressive stance in my posture. So instead of just standing there with my feet together like a deer in the headlights, I'll just place one foot in front of the other with my knees slightly bent, like I'm leaning into the music and the audience. Now look, I'm by no means a behavioral psychologist, but I found that adopting this stance sends a message to my body that I'm actually in control of the situation here. It's also quite a dynamic stance that allows you just a little bit of freedom in movement to connect with the emotion of the piece whilst remaining firmly grounded and balanced. The other thing I'll do is be really conscious about keeping my shoulders down, particularly in the final moments before I'm about to play. It's very hard to have a tight chest when you've relaxed your shoulders. I really feel as though one naturally leads on from the other. So if you can just do that, even if you're still feeling nervous, you're at least allowing yourself the opportunity to take deep breaths of air as you play. Another tip during your performance is to concentrate on playing right to the back wall. Doing so actually does two things. It takes the focus away from the individual faces in the crowd who might serve as a distraction to you, and it challenges you to project your sound forward, to play with confidence and authority so you fill up the performance space with the sound of your saxophone. Now these are all strategies that you can use in the moment, but of course, it would be easier if you just never experience any performance anxiety at all. Well, in my experience, eradicating all nerves, even as a professional, is a little unrealistic. Even a pro will still occasionally find themselves in a musical situation which might cause them to develop a few nerves. The difference is, of course, that those same pros are used to overcoming them without anyone even noticing by using their own strategies like the ones I just mentioned. But what if you don't have much experience performing for a live audience? Is there anything you can do to truly prepare yourself? Now, the best strategies I've taught are to gradually up the stakes with your practice. One great place to start is just to simply record yourself playing a song and send it to a friend or a family member. It's actually amazing the added pressure you can feel just by having a camera rolling while you play. At the end of the day, the simplest advice I have is just to perform as often as you can. Focus on deep breaths, relaxing your embouchure and your shoulders, 
adopting a dynamic stance and looking straight out, past the individual faces towards the back of the room or the hall you're performing in. If you do this after one or two successful performances, you'll quickly develop your confidence on the saxophone, safe in the knowledge that nerves are both perfectly normal and perfectly capable of being overcome. So what are your strategies for managing your nerves? I'd love to hear from you. So leave any tips or advice you have for the community in the comments section down below. And whilst you're here, don't forget to head on over to saxtuition.com where we've got some fantastic courses for transforming your saxophone playing. I've got some truly awesome content planned, so hit subscribe for more great saxophone tips just like this one. And of course, I'll see you all again soon.